All right, so we talked about indoctrination, we talked about engagement. Now, what if the engagement series does its job? What if it works? What if it does get somebody to buy? Then what? Well, once somebody buys something, the next step is to try to get them to ascend, to try to get them to ascend from an ordinary buyer into a multi-buyer, to try to get them to ascend from a fan into a super fan. So let's dive in and talk about phase three, which is the ascension series. So like I said, the role of the ascension series is to turn ordinary buyers into multi-buyers. We want to get somebody, if they've bought once, to buy again. We want to get them if they said, yeah, let's go out on a date, and that date was fun, to go out on another date, and another date, and another date. And we call this concept of going out again and again and again the value loop, okay? The value loop. And the reason that we call it the value loop is, one, because the way that it functions on our uh, machine flowchart here is, so the engagement series works, they come in and they buy. Now they go into an Ascension series, right? And the Ascension series ideally gets them to buy. And if they go into, they go into another Ascension series. And so this loop gets created of they buy another Ascension series. They buy again another Ascension series until you're either out of stuff to sell or until they say no. But people will say, really, so when they bought something, you want me to try to sell them something over and over and over again? And the answer is yes. Yes, as long as you are delivering value, over and above what you're charging, then yes, you should try to sell them something over and over and over again, as long as it is helpful and gets them moved down that, that before and after continuum. As long as you're moving them closer and closer and closer to their ideal after, then yes, you absolutely should continue making offers as long as it is helpful. Just like if you go out with somebody, you have coffee, that's great, you go out on a date, you know, you have a really nice dinner, you don't say, well, that was fun. Um, I don't, you know, I don't want to bug them again and, and, you know, ask them to go out on another date. No, they, when people enter into a relationship, there's an expectation that there's, that that relationship is going to ascend, that it's going to go somewhere, right? You're not just in the business of buying random people dinner one time, right? You want to buy dinner again and again and again, and then eventually the relationship escalates into where both of you want it to go, right? The ideal after. So however many offers it takes to get somebody from the before to their ideal after, yes, you continue that value loop. You continue moving people around into that loop. So a lot of people say, well, that sounds great. Okay, I understand theoretically uh, that I should do that, but I don't have enough products. I only have one product. And the point that I have to make to you is that it doesn't need to be your product. And I would refer you back to a previous module when we were in the return path and we talked about line extensions. So remember with line extensions, it doesn't have to be your product. Remember the example that I gave there with the water filter company that didn't think that they could sell uh, the, the, the housings, right? Because it wasn't their product. It doesn't have to be your product. You can license, you can publish, you can joint venture, you can wholesale. Whatever you need to do, just get them, move them from their before to their ideal after, and that's how you can continue making these additional offers through your return path in these Ascension series. Now, um, we talked previously in a previous video about gain logic fear. Uh, an, an ideal type of Ascension series is just a modification of a gain logic fear. Whereas instead, if you recall with gain logic fear, we were referencing back to the previous action, which was when they opted in for the lead magnets. So we're saying, hey, you opted in for the lead magnet and, and therefore making this purchase is the ideal next step. What we're doing with the upsell abandoned campaign, which you're gonna see uh, in one of the next videos, it, it mirrors almost exactly gain logic fear and what we're doing is we're still referencing back to, hey, you just made this purchase. The ideal next step is to make another purchase, right? So that's the basic structure and the basic reasoning behind an Ascension series. Uh, now let's look at some specific Ascension series and, and see how we can apply those to your company.